Good morning, everybody. Hi, it's Holly, and welcome back to Smile by Holly. So today I've got a fun way to show you on how to make an easy little shaker card. Isn't that just so fun? Um, the kit that I'm going to be using today is, it's a photo play kit. It's by Becky Moore, and look how cute that is. It's called Snow Day. And I'm really not a winter person. I like to craft summer fun crafts. <laughs> but when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect. This will be a fun winter craft. So that's the kit that I'm using. And you know, when you buy these kits, they come with the four by three little cut aparts. And these are perfect for what we're going to be doing with our project today. So I'm using the three by four cut aparts and I'm also using a set of three by four pockets by Project Life. Now you can get these on Amazon, they're by American Craft and they're just the Project Life cards. Let me see if I can pull some out. This is gonna be hard to see, but just the little uh, pockets. Now you're thinking, how are we gonna seal that up so those shaker bits don't come out? Well, there's no fuse tool needed for these, I have found that this, it's called red tape, and it's just really sticky, good hold tape, and it's fairly thin, but this does the trick in sealing up those little pockets. So how simple, right? Oh my goodness, I just, I love bringing simple and easy little ways to do crafts. Look how fun that is, it says let it snow, and I put that glittery snow that you can get at the Dollar Tree in there. Um, and then this one says, snow much fun, and it's got just that fun little glitter thin sequins. Now, the pocket's not super thick, so keep in mind when you are making your shaker not to get too bulky of little bits that you're going to be putting in your card. So let's go ahead and put one together, and I'll just show you how simple. So I have just got a pre-made card. Now you could certainly take an eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, cut it in half, and that gives you two of these. So simple, simple. Um, I've already got some paper for backing, and then this is one of those cut aparts. Yay, it's snow day, isn't that so cute? Oh my goodness, that little snowman is adorable. So let's go ahead and take one of our little shaker pouches. And I think what I'm gonna be using today I was trying to pull colors from the backing and then this little snowman guy, and look at these little bits. Now these are a little bit thicker, so but I think they're still gonna work. There are these little teeny tiny, I don't know if you can see that, little teeny tiny uh, candies. Anyway, so that's what we're using today. So what I'm going to do before I fill up my little shaker card, what I have found helps, guys, is take a dryer sheet and just stick it inside your little pocket and just kind of run your hand in and out. This will help so that those little bits or sequins or whatever you decide to put in your shaker will move around easier and not get stuck. That's my pro tip for today, a dryer sheet. <laughs> so go ahead and take whatever you're going to put in your little pocket It's always hard for me to know how much do I put in, because you know, you don't want to block the cute little picture underneath, but I think that looks good. I also have these, oh, they're, I'm not sure where I got, oh, actually I did, I got these at Hobby Lobby, and they're just, oh my goodness, they're like these glittery jewels, so we're gonna add a few of those just to give this some sparkle. Not too much, just a little bit. And now, is, oh yeah, that's gonna be really cute. Let me shake it around, get those mixed up. Now is where our red tape comes in. So bring in your red tape. And I have got some, let's see, this is by Westcott. They're non-stick scissors. This is one of my favorite things to use. You know, when you're cutting craft foam or this sticky tape, this helps it so it doesn't ruin your scissors by getting some non-stick scissors. Now I just got these off Amazon, but check out some non-stick scissors if you run into that problem of getting that ooey gooey sticky stuff on your scissors. So just take your red line tape and we're just gonna add it right onto the top of your shaker. 
I mean, how simple, right? So how is everybody today? Are you surviving winter? I feel like I need to say that because for me, it truly is surviving winter. <laughs> I'm not real good with cold and snowy weather and here in Salt Lake, it has been freezing. <laughs> I'm ready for spring. Anyway, so I pulled off the little sticky. Now I'm just going to wrap this around and seal it really, really good. Now, the last thing you want is those little shaker bits to come out. So I'm gonna take just my bone folder and press that down really good. And you know, this, I have found that this three by four size is so perfect on an A2 card. Look at that. It, it just is almost exact for what you would want for this particular size card. So I've sealed that up and everywhere else already was sealed. So you can see that is holding those in just perfectly. Love it, love it, love it. Now the rest is just layering and putting all the pieces together. So I've just got my mono adhesive tape. Now I'm going to add this onto this, but when I actually put my shaker card down, I am going to use this heavy duty tape because I don't want this to pull off. But for this just little paper cut apart, we'll stick it on with my mono adhesive. And then what we're gonna do is I'm going to line the back of this. And you know, it's clear so you don't see it. I just can't say enough good things about this wonderful, wonderful red line tape. So we'll just add some here. And over here. I think I mentioned, but I did just get this red line tape um, on Amazon. Okay, we'll pull. I think what I'm gonna do is burnish that down, make sure it's good. So what are you guys working on? Anything fun? Winter projects, I guess. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our sticky tape and I am just going to add that right on top. Press it down really good. See how simple, right? Oh, so simple. And once again, that is sealed so good. Now we'll add, um, depending on how heavy your shaker is, you may want to still use this red line to put this down on your card but those shaker bits were pretty light. So we're gonna try just my mono adhesive. And let's get that centered. And of course, what do we need? We need a cute little bow on our project. And I'm thinking maybe yeah, I think we'll add this little heart. Okay, so there is our Yay It's Snow Day. And look how fun. Oh, I just love it. So let me bring in my other ones. There are our three cute and easy shaker cards. So anyway, I hope I have shared with you something fun and easy to make, especially on a cold snowy day. What a fun idea to make some shaker cards. Once again, they're three by four pocket, Project Life pocket cards. And uh, the key player in this is a strong hold adhesive tape. So I hope you have a fun crafting day. If you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel. So. Happy crafting, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye, everybody.